This is Gundam Horologium. The clock, the all-knowing. Piloted by Horologium, he governs over space-time and manipulates it to its will. From a single particle to an entire universe, he can alter the time around his selected target, freeze the target in time, or even trap things in a time loop, making him one of the most confusing constellations to fight against. Horologium's space-time government allows him to know all of events past, present, and future in all universes and imbue his weapons with temporal energy at the cost of draining his life force. Despite the sleek figure of his Gundam, he is armed with 9 swords, the 4 Lepto swords, 2 of which are mounted as blades on the binders, 2 Deftron swords, 2 neutral beam swords, and the Tempest sword blaster. The Lepto swords are Horologian's preferred melee weapons. Lepto mean the minute in Greek. They can either function as a dark elemental rifle or a machine gun. The tip of the sword can be channeled with dark elemental energy to generate an energy blade for increased attack range. Imbuing temporal energy will allow the weapon to reverse time on the impacted target. Besides that, the tip can be fired out and controlled remotely, but once impact has been made, the blade will dissolve, creating an evil copy of those that came into contact with the blade's molecules to fight for Horologium. In that event, the lepto blades on the binders can replace the blades on the swords. The Deftron swords mounted on the side skirts are primarily used as throwing weapons, but they can also function similarly to the lepto swords. Deftron meaning second in Greek. The sword can function as a machine gun or a rifle when in gun mode, while channeling dark elemental energy into the blade can generate an energy blade in sword mode. When the sword is thrown with channel temporal energy, the first to get hit by it will have their spiritual form knocked out of their physical form momentarily until the spirit recalls itself back to the physical body. However, this move can only be used once per sword as the astronomical amount of energy required to do that will destroy the sword completely. The neutral beam swords don't use any elemental energy to power it, thus energy absorption systems won't be able to absorb its energy. However, that means its sharpness is compromised. Thus, Horologium only uses them to parry attacks or throw them and occupy the enemy long enough for him to make a move. The Tempest Sword Blaster is Horologium's main ranged weapon. It functions more like a gun than a sword and can fire dark or temporal energy. The sword can be sharpened with dark elemental energy and the gunshot can slow time around the target if imbued with temporal energy. If need be, Horologium can deck his Gundam out with the full clock equipment. Usually held in the left hand, the Deftron Sword 2 functions just like the Deftron Swords with the mode change achieved by flipping the blade. Mounted on the knees are the Aura Katars, Aura meaning hour in Greek. Able to be used from the holsters or by hand, a temporally channeled strike from the Katars can rewind time on whatever it touches, reverting the object in contact to its most basic form at most. Horologium is a mysterious existence, and only he knows the truth of all mysteries of the universe. It is also a mystery how some other constellations managed to defeat him during the ritualistic fights. Maybe he planned the entire thing out and deliberately lost to them. No one knows. Attempt asking him or one of his clones from different times and universes, they all have their lips sealed. Even though his power sounds overpowered, he is disconnected from the time and space he tampers with, so his life force will be drained regardless. The constellations just have yet to exploit that weakness.